Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here, and I wanted to talk about a, uh, a new technology. If you're a DJI Phantom 2 owner, you may have heard that, well, and if you've got a Vision or a, uh, a, a Vision Plus, you've probably heard that ground station, ground station functionality is now available within the, uh, the DJI Vision app. So the app that you use on your Android or your, or your iPhone to see what the Phantom sees and to control the camera and all that. Now if you go into camera and you swipe your finger to the left, it'll bring up a, it'll bring up a map. And that can be a satellite photo, a, a street level, street level imagery, and or a hybrid map that will show both the satellite view and then also the, uh, the street level information. Now to look at that, you know, it seems cool. It's like, yeah, I can, uh, I can set waypoints and tell my tell my drone where to go. And you can check the link within this video's description. I've got an example where I actually flew around a baseball field, went to uh, first base, second base, third base, and then home. And I did that all using ground station. So it was all waypoint driven. I didn't have to do anything. It flew itself. It went to the altitude that, uh, that I specified. And, and by the way, each waypoint was different altitude. So what's the real world purpose for using ground station? Well, it's not just a thing to say, okay, I've, you know, I've put in the course and it flew itself. That's neat enough. But from a videographer's perspective or a photographer's perspective, it's a really cool tool. Because when you're flying the Phantom, even though it's super easy to fly, you've still got to focus on your flight. And you need to focus on that anyway because you don't want to I mean, if it did encounter an error and uh, tried to take off somewhere, you want to make sure that you can regain manual control. But, but the idea behind the ground station is so cool from a videographer's perspective or photographer's, photographer's perspective is that what you can do, you can predetermine your course so you know where that Phantom's going to fly. And then all you have to do is focus upon tilting the camera up and down Maybe you want to get a combination of still photos and, uh, and videos, you can do that. You can focus upon capturing the imagery and the videos versus having to fly the thing. And what's also cool about Ground Station is that if you choose to pause, you can hit pause. So maybe you want to pause the, uh, and, and when I'm saying pause, it's actually stopping the Phantom's flight, so it'll, it'll hover. And that's handy if you get to a point where you want to, uh, maybe you want to stop and shoot a, shoot a few still photos without any uh, forward momentum, you can do that. So it's really useful from, not just from that perspective, but also other applications that I could think of for ground station would be if you needed to go to specific points. And the baseball field was a good example. But another example might be a golf course you know, a nine hole golf course. Maybe you want to go from, from tee box to green and hit every hole. That would be a good application for, uh, for ground station. And that's actually something I'm going to do as a demonstration of ground station. I'm going to take it out to a golf course and go hole to hole, fully autonomous, flies itself, just to prove that, hey, this technology works and it's not just a gimmick. And that's, that's what a lot of people with drones, nowadays since we're, I mean, ultimately I'm an early adopter and if you're watching this, if you haven't purchased one yet, you've probably already got one and you're also an early adopter, even if you did get one. And by the way, you can check the link within this video's description. I've got a, uh, a plethora of pictures and videos that I filmed with the Phantom and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, which is the most current Phantom at the time of posting this. but. Being all, all of us being early adopters, it's really puzzling to, to many to think, well, where is this going? If, if you're not, let's put it this way, if you're not a photographer, if you're not a videographer, if you're not a hobbyist, it's, it's hard to visualize what all of this means. This is the future. This is the future 
for photography. This is the future for videography. And this is the future for a lot more. I mean, there's going to be a lot more applications. It's like any other tool that comes out. When the computer was invented, you know, we all felt, oh, this is great being able to type something or be able to write a basic program. Many of us never would have had the forward-looking vision to say, oh, in the future, we're going to be streaming live video content and we're going to be watching it not only on this computer, but also handheld devices that we can see the same stuff. That would take an extreme, well, it, it, someone would almost have to be psychic to some degree to have been able to predict how computers would evolve. And the same thing holds to be true for the drone industry, also known as UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. So where is it going to go? That's, that's what the users will determine. Now keep in mind, as regulations pick up, which I'm sure they likely will, as things become, as things become more regulated, that may lessen the uh, creative abilities of some people utilizing this tool, utilizing this drone. So if you're watching this, when and if regulation is discussed, don't think about yourself only. Think about the community as a whole. And think about computers. Think about when that computer was invented, if people said there could be no internet, there could be no multicolor monitor. Just think about all of that. If, if there were regulations in place that prevented the computer from evolving, we wouldn't be where we are today. So apply the same mentality when you think about drones. Because if regulations come into play, if you can fight and help win and keep things deregulated, it's, I mean, the possibilities are limitless. I mean, where all can these drones be used and what, what are the various applications that they would be great for? It's going to be fascinating to watch. And I'm not just going to watch, I'm going to be part of it because as you can tell, I've got the most current drone now. And when the newer one comes out, you're right. It'll be here on Irix Guys Adventure Channel, youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy because I fully embrace the use of drones and ground station is just another cool tool that came out just a few weeks ago that just foreshadows the degree of awesomeness that, we'll all, that we all will be able to experience within the near future because right now in a, in a, uh, to, make, to make another comparison to the computer we're still in that uh, you know those Apple IIe's and those old uh, XT computers, you know, we're we're still in that in that area in that uh, in that phase right now with the drone. I mean, these are they work and they work well, but they have not yet evolved. So let's see that evolution. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube.com forward slash guy and enjoy all my DJI Phantom videos and other videos too. Y'all have a good day.